everyone, it's me Dawn. Welcome to my channel, Dawn Erin Loving Hands Creations. So you guys know, I don't just dye, I don't just crochet. I am one of those artists that likes to adventure out and try new rabbit holes. Before I get started into this, let me go ahead and say thank you to anybody who is new. Thank you so much for being a part of my channel, as well as the returning subscribers. Thank you so much, you guys. I do truly appreciate all of the help and support that I do get from all of you. So, you know how they say that you got a person that is a jack of all trades or a jill of all trades? Well, I was that until I retired. So, now I am a jack or a jill of all, tr of all crafts, I should say. So you guys know that I do sculpt, I do paint, I dye yarn, I crochet, and I got more rabbit holes coming down the tunnel in the new year, unfortunately. Well, no, not unfortunately, because I kind of like it, but I don't think the husband likes it too much. But anyways, don't worry about that. I'll just continue to expand on all of my rabbit holes. So... You guys know that I do do gnomes and I sculpt other things like the witch that lit up. So here is a collection. Someone had reached out to me and they want to do it as a gift. And so I said, okay, let me try it out. Let me see what I can do. Well, it's not too shabby, boy. I tell you, I actually really like them. I think they're kind of cute. No, I think they're really cute. So here is a new addition to my gnomes. Let you guys have a look. Let me know what you guys think of these guys. So I made a dragon. You'll see the pearl and the sparkle in it. And yes, this is put on, mixed into the clay. And it is all clay and the only things that are not clay you guys will see is like the horns on the tip. It's actually the foil, like the gold leaf foil that you would get. So here I'll give you guys a close, close look. Adam, I didn't just make one. I actually made a pair. I made a purple one. I hope you guys like the colors. I actually am very pleased with the coloring and how blending of the pearl mecha powder and all of that into the clay and how it just looks absolutely gorgeous. So I'm very pleased with how this new design came along actually and now I've got a new one for my collection of gnomes but I didn't stop there and we all know who she is and we all know that she really really loves sunflowers and the one thing I did is I decided since she's always challenging me she sent me images to dye up yarn, and so some of those images had to do with the Montana sunflower. Absolutely gorgeous. And if you guys haven't seen, I did show that uh, one night when I was doing a live, and I'm just kind of cleaning out my stash, which I'm still cleaning out. But then I started dyeing again, which I shouldn't do, because I started dyeing yarn, and I'm kind of like in my own little space having fun. So here is the other one. Remember, these are all custom made for whoever really, really wants to have something different that nobody else has made. Um, and just kind of let people enjoy. Because, you know, the one thing I like is doing this stuff. And to me, having it made for somebody and especially the fact that it's only one, it's not mass produced, everything that I do create for anybody that asks is one of a kind. It is the only one. And I don't try to really make duplicates. I don't like to. 
but I can make something that is almost similar, but not exactly. So you guys, let me know what you think. These are my new ones that I had now created. So they'll be going on a nice little ride soon. Hope you like the colors and the ideas of what I've created. And you'll see little bows, the cowboy boots, and each and every one of these petals are done individually. Every piece of the sunflower on the back to the stem, even the cowboy boots was done in sections. The hair, every one of these petals were done in sections. So these are all individual pieces. And the same thing with the dragons. Each one of them are done individual step-by-step -step pieces. So you guys, in the comments below, let me know exactly what you think. If you guys really like them, if there's any other ideas you guys can think of, challenge me. Let's see what I can create next and hopefully you guys will enjoy it. So anyways, that is all I've got for today in this video of showing new gnomes. Please hit the thumbs up, give me a like, and I don't know, tell some friends about me, bring them on by. Let them have a look. Maybe there's something that you guys may enjoy. And I do have a couple lamps I'm trying to get done so I can post it and show you guys. And I thought it was going to be ready for Christmas, but I was wrong. So if anybody is interested, by all means, reach out. My email is in my description box. So you guys, I hope you enjoy. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And I hope you guys have a good night. See you all later. Hopefully in the next one. Bye.